Hi, my name is Joe Conti. Today I'm going to start working on the bridge which will take the trains from the north side down to the south. Stick around. Hi, welcome back. So for this bridge, I'm planning to use this kind of wood here. These will be the beams or the sleepers, this kind of wood, I will cut them up to size. These will be three pillars uh, to the height of the, uh, of the bridge. And then you'll have the truss to strengthen the whole uh, column. So I'm going to start cutting these up and uh, but then i'm going to weather them i'm going to sink them in some uh, diluted uh, black stain to give them a bit of a, a weathered look and i'll show you what i've done so here's the the watered stain that i used i picked up all the uh, the pieces that i had in there overnight I left them a bit to dry, and this is what I have now. <coughs> I made these three a couple of days ago, and this is what I'm after. Something like this. And the idea is the extra length at the bottom would sink down into the polystyrene. So this would be the pillar, sorry, the column. And we will have um, a, a strut over here, like this, for strength. I might put another one on the other side, I'm not sure. But anyway, this is the idea. I'm going to have 8 or 10 of these along the 1.6 meter bridge. And once I have them all ready, uh, I'll try them in place to find the distance between one pillar and the other. And then we'll talk about the surface, what kind of surface the bridge will have at the top for the rail to sit on until then. Okay, I put the columns up temporarily and space them out over the, the span. Here's a look. This is how it will go around. There's four inches in between each column, except for the last one. The last one is a bit longer, but I'm sure it won't be a problem. There, <laughs> I have to adjust the height of the top beam and the, the extra length of the pillars will go into the, the polystyrene inside here, like this one. I'll dig it down and then I'll glue everything together. Until then, doing the final touches on the columns before I put them in place. Just a dab of glue here and there. <coughs> place these there. There. And let them dry. Bad. <laughs> okay. So I've come up with this. This is a temporary plan of the surface of the bridge. And I like it. And uh, next step is to cut that out of quarter inch plywood. and start fitting it into place until then so i traced the uh, paper template onto a, a quarter inch plywood sheet i had and i'm start and i cut it up but now i'm starting to glue the the pillars no, sorry the columns so i've got these marked out with a pencil i'm not sure if you can see them where these have to be fixed 
and I'm gluing them in place. So, very simple. Glue on that surface, glue here, and stick it on. Uh, direction there, okay. I'm keeping all the struts on the same side. And the good side would be, in this case, on the inner curve. There. And I keep going along here. I go one, two, three, four with this, five and six on this piece. This is a total of 12 or 13, depending on the last one, how it's going to fit. But, so when I have all these done, uh, I'll take you up on the on the layouts again with these and uh, I'll show you how I'm fitting them until then. Okay, so the construction of the bridge itself is ready. Um, put some a piece of temporary track here. Which will go all the way around here and over the lower loop and into that tunnel there, which will eventually go down to the bottom of the hill. I'm not putting any cork on the lay on the bridge. I made the level the same uh, to match the underlay on the will be rocks for a smooth transition. This is the the way I put the uh, columns. I made them all facing the same way. And here you have the lower loop passing in between. Wait a minute, okay. Tools here and into the bridge. So hopefully next time you see this, there will be a train running over that bridge. So, until then, be safe, take care.